Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to um, our Draper Hopa MDT company meeting. Um, we're glad to see you all here and it, we're hoping that a few more will come on. Um, I'll take a minute to introduce myself. My name is Danielle Nielsen. I'm the company director at the Draper building and um, I just love it. We also have on Mindy Robbins, who is the owner and starter of COPA, and she's incredible, and she will talk to us in just a minute. We have Katie Higby. I think a lot of their videos are on, um, so you can look at them waiting. She is the, the COPA director of all COPA, and she does all the things, and she's incredible, and um, she'll probably chime in a little bit here and there. Uh, we have Jocelyn Robinson here. She's the Draper class director and she also is a company director. This year she's over Prodigy and Moxie and she's awesome. And she's also my sister. So that's even more fun. Um, and then we have Melanie Cartwright, who we just love and adore. She is our Smash director this year and she is just incredible. So that's kind of who's here for people that are new um, and not recognizing these faces. To get started, we're gonna start with the mission of COPA, which is amazing. And I'm gonna turn the time over to Mindy and she's gonna go into what COPA is all about. Thanks, Danielle. And I'm glad you introduced everybody. We are, I'll just say, I know Danielle didn't get to really introduce herself, but we're in really good hands with Danielle directing the ship for Draper up there. And the sister power is awesome. And Melanie, we want to adopt as a sister. So we call ourselves Fristers, friend sisters, and it is an awesome team. So super grateful for each of these women. Okay, so the philosophy and mission of Utah Copa, uh, the mission of the company is to develop talents, confidence, and performance skills while experiencing purposeful performance in a spirit of camaraderie. Our philosophy is that the performing arts is a complex and exciting field of study. Within this field of study, there can be occasion for comparison, jealousy, and insecurities to flourish. At Utah Copa, we prefer to focus on the positive outcomes that involvement in this field can develop. Confidence, dependability, punctuality, responsibility, respect for self and others, a strong work ethic, perspective, lifelong friendships, and teamwork. We encourage you to approach your training in this manner. In regard to the music dance theater or our music theater tracks, which we'll talk about, we want to offer a well-rounded experience in music, dance, and theater. Students train in various forms of dance, vocal acting techniques, preparing for success in the industry. COPA students regularly play lead roles for school, community, and regional musicals, and several students have received collegiate scholarships for the performing arts. So we're super glad. I know this isn't really, I got to be honest, like Zoom is amazing. It's a great tool, but I kind of miss our like in-person parent days where we can be in the room and see your faces and feel your energy and it's a little bit harder via zoom to know like how many of you are new and you know like who we're speaking to but we're just super thrilled that you're here and you're interested in copa if you're a returning member wanting to hear about what we're offering we're really glad that you're here if you're brand new we're, we hope that we can answer some of your questions and concerns um and we hope to see you at auditions so okay danielle do you want me to keep going into the tracks? Yeah, that would be amazing. Before we start, um, if you have any questions during everything that we're talking about, you're welcome to use the chat down below and Jocelyn and a few others will be managing that and answering questions. You're also welcome to turn on your camera and wave your hand. Um, if we're sharing our screen and we don't see you, uh, we'll get to you. But if you have questions, right in that chat and we would love to give you as much information as you need. And now we'll turn it over to Mindy because we have some really exciting changes coming to our companies and um, classes even this year that I am thrilled about. And so she's gonna talk a little bit more about those and then we'll go into some of the details. Okay, thanks Danielle. So I guess the bottom line is that when we first brainstormed what we wanted COPA to be, years ago, I don't know if this is like our 16th year, 
we just thought, hey, if everybody, even if they're not going to become dancers, if they're in the classroom and they're comfortable and they're learning, I mean, because let's be honest, like dance terms, a lot of them are in French. So learning like what a chasse means or a fouette, that that would be beneficial for them, that they'd carry th themselves, you know, with better posture and be more confident. And so for years, we have had the music dance theater track where students have done ballet, jazz, and tap. But what we're learning is that some kids, no matter what, will never enjoy putting on a ballet leotard and tights. And they probably won't really enjoy a ballet class, period. That there are just different people in this industry. And the, what's so crazy about it is the idea of COPA was birthed in my basement. And I was a mover. I could never do a fuete. I never nailed a triple pirouette. I couldn't get my splits. I wasn't flexible. I'd never go to a dancer call. And I don't know why it took us this long, but you guys, we've arrived. And we realized that there are 50% of our students approximately that love ballet leotards and tights. And we are gonna keep helping them become well-rounded singer, dancer, actors. But for the other 50%, there's nothing less about this. In fact, I've had a really successful career as a mover. Like my focus has been in voice and in acting, and then I move well. And so in New York or for regional theaters in Utah or out of Utah, or sometimes like the Hale, they might differentiate when they call a student, I mean a student, a, an auditionee, to audition if they want to go to a mover call or if they want to go to a dancer call. There, I'm telling you, there's nothing less about going to the mover call. It just means you probably won't be doing fuetes and that's good for a lot of us. And then you're gonna go sing your face off and do that scene and knock it out of the park. And so will our dancers. It's just a different, it's a different track. So if we look at like the COPA owners, Nathan and Susie aren't here today. And my husband actually is an owner as well. He handles the financial and like business side of COPA. And Nathan and Susie help in lots of different ways, but also artistically. Nathan and Susie are both um, triple threat, is what we would call it, singer, dancer, actors. If we look at our team here, like Katie would probably say she'd go to a dancer call, right? And, and that's awesome. Like Nathan had an amazing career going to dancer calls and he was in the ensemble of like five Broadway shows. And yet I also was successful going to mover calls and played a lot of dream roles in, and still perform, um, you know, as when the stars align. So between our directing team, like each of us might say, I'd go to a dancer call or I'd go to a mover call. And we just want to accommodate your students. And you know, some of you know that your kids love to dance and they dance everywhere around the house and they would love to be in ballet leotards and tights and a jazz class and others, it would be like pulling teeth. So if it's like pulling teeth to get your kid to wear a ballet leotard, probably choose the new musical theater track that we're offering. And we're going to go, Danielle will go far more into detail about like, what does that look like weekly? What are the classes that they're going to be taking? But just wanted to tell you a little bit of why it's coming. And ultimately it is to accommodate to the needs and the desires and the abilities that your student, that your child has, so that we can really help them become what they want to become and help them develop their individual talents. And so we're super excited about this new track and this new opportunity. Go ahead, Danielle. Hey, thanks, Mindy. Um, yeah, so I am going to share my screen. I just learned how to do this, so. Hope it works. And we're gonna go a little bit more into what, what that means, um, the new tracks. So let's see, are you seeing the COPA website? Oh, good, okay. So um, when you come to our COPA website, it will give you all the information that you're gonna need. Um, so for today, we're going to come to companies, you're going to go down to musical theater, and then you will click on the Draper um, button. So this is for our 2024-2025 Academy or uh, season for our companies. Um, just right here at the very top, which is important to note, um, our, require, our companies require an audition, 
and it is a 12 month contract. And that is just to give you the most training that you need. Um, we cast our companies very methodically. We, you know, plan out solos, we plan out costumes, we have an exact number that we need. And so we want your child in their company for the entire year. Um, we'll go a little bit more into how the fees and tuition work with that 12 month contract, but just like make a note in your head that this is the commitment for the year. Um, so first we're gonna start with our company rehearsals. Uh, we'll start with Prodigy. So our Prodigy premiere and we're hoping Spire Company will stay the same. They will come for two hours of company rehearsal, an hour of vocal tech rehearsal, and then three hours of dance rehearsal. However, they have a small change that I'm excited to try this year. So we have had um, a few kids and parents say that three hours of dance is a long time for these little ones to dance. So what we're gonna do this year is we are gonna break that up. We're gonna have two hours of dance on Monday with one hour of vocals. And then on Thursday, we're gonna have two hours of dance with one hour of vocals. So that those kids aren't getting so tired on the off days. So for Prodigy, Premiere, Inspire, they will do ballet and jazz on Mondays along with a vocal tech class. And what that vocal tech class is for um, people that are new, it's kind of like a private vocal acting coach in a small group setting. So we have classes of eight to 10. They will pick um, a legit song in the fall. They will pick a belt song in the spring and they will work on a monologue and they will be individually coached on these um, monologues and songs and they will perform them. So it's a really great experience to kind of get that more one-on-one -on -one experience without, you know, paying a huge bill for a private lesson. Um, hey, Sorry, can I, can I add something that I forgot to say when we were introducing these new tracks? The reason that we're having Prodigy, Premiere, Inspire remain in ballet, tap and jazz is because we have found over the 15 years of running classes and teaching kids and raising children of our own that they don't really know if they love it or not until they're about 12. And so it's better. What we don't want to have happen is they're not in any dance from fourth, fifth, sixth grade and then by seventh grade, they're like, I love this and I love movement. And then they're three years behind their peers. Does that make sense? So we're having them at a young age, try it and dabble in ballet and jazz and tap. And then by the time that they hit about seventh grade is when it feels like they're pretty clear whether or not they love that ballet leotard and class, or if they'd rather focus in you know, voice and acting more heavily and less in dance. So that's why we have our quote, younger companies trying it and being a part of it until that kind of seventh seventh grade split. And the reason I say questionably, because every year companies are kind of different the way they lay out and which companies run and who auditions. So it's just approximately by junior high. Yeah. Thanks, Mindy. That's great. And also, as we all know, when we have younger children, their brains and bodies are like sponges. So that is the perfect time to get like that little bit of dance foundation in their brains that they will always remember. But we're really trying to um, accommodate the long hours and to make it a little bit more fun in those three companies. So their rehearsals will be on Monday or Thursday and you can plan on 4.30 to 7.30 and it will just be different times of when they come. Um, so yeah, so we were on vocal tech and acting, they'll do that. And then on Thursdays, they'll come for their company vocal rehearsal, their company choreography rehearsal, and then they'll do tap on Thursdays. And so I think that will be kind of fun to help them break it up and to really um, let them try their, their hardest and not get too worn out. So their tuition, which is on this side, we'll talk about tuition a little bit later. We have just that base fee of $235 and that includes all of their hours that they're at the studio each week and boys is discounted to 165. Um, so moving down to Moxie, Moxie Smash and Principal will be the ages that can choose either the MT track or the MDT track. And um, their prices are listed on the side. And how that will be different is they will come to auditions and they will be cast in the company with their friends. 
They'll come on Thursdays and they will do all the same classes together. It won't matter what track they pick. It'll differ on the days that they attend. So if your child is more of a dancer and they really want to push um, that MDT triple threat career, they will attend their dance classes on Monday and it will be a ballet class, a jazz class, and a tap class. And these classes will be combining with our COPA dance company classes and we will be requiring more. We'll want, you know, more strictness, more dedication so that those kids that want to dance will really get out what they want from those Monday classes. Where right now in our Monday classes, we have kids that want to move and kids that want to dance and the ones that want to take it seriously and the ones that are there for social, it sometimes is a little bit harder to mix. And so if your kid wants to dance, this is going to be a way that will really push them and they're going to get a lot out of those three hours. So they will do ballet, tapping, jazz on Monday, and then they'll do their vocal tech and their company rehearsals on Thursdays. If your child is going to choose an MT track, let's scroll down here. So I'll show you. Here's our Prodigy Premier Inspire um, MDT dance classes, and that's included in their tuition. And then um, our Moxie Smash and Principal MDT dance classes, ballet, tap, jazz. And these levels will be broken up at our auditions. We'll do technique auditions and we'll really place your child where they will thrive the most. Instead of, you know, a high schooler in with the little kids, they're going to be with their right age, they're going to be with their right ability. Um, our MD, our MT classes right here, they will come on Tuesdays. So there'll be a Tuesday, Thursday track. They will have an MT class for one hour, an MT dance class, sorry. And this will consist of um, styles that are applicable to musical theater. So they'll get basic techniques that can be useful in auditions. They'll study Broadway choreographers, um, Broadway style of movement. They will get some tap in there. Um, they'll just get the basics that will help them be the best movers that they can get, but they'll also be pushed. It's not just going to be all fun and games. We really want to get the most out of these um, musical theater style classes. And then they will come for an hour acting class. And we're basing our acting classes on our acting company curriculum. And it's going to be really exciting. So for the first term, they will work on Shakespeare, which will be different for our company kids that have never really done that. Um, they'll dive into Shakespeare. They'll do scenes and monologues. Their second term, they'll work on contemporary monologues as well as acting for film. And then our third term, they will do improv. And Katie went into this at the last meeting, how um, improv is so important and it's important for all of us, right? I am improving right now and I'm really nervous. It is really helpful for public speaking. It's helpful when they dive into monologues and they audition when they sing. Um, and I have heard from so many directors and theater owners that they want actors. So this is going to be a great class for your kiddo that doesn't love ballet and really wants to be pushed in acting. And these levels, um, A and B, it's not based on ability or talent. Um, we're going to see how many kids we get. We're going to see where the ages are. And it's kind of just like your vocal tech A and B. And um, those acting classes will be a smaller size. So. Um, in those MT and MDT program, if you're thinking, well, man, like my kid would really love to do both. We've made the schedule so that your child can do both. There's nothing that repeats. Um, they can do the Monday dance classes. They can do the Tuesday, um, MT styles class that they're doing this year on Monday, but it'll be now on, be on Tuesday and they can do that acting class. So it's really kind of how you want your child's training to go and how um, involved your child wants to be. But those are some fun options that I'm really excited about um, that, that we're gonna implement next year. And I think it will be so great for all the COPA students involved. It'll help those dancers take dance classes more seriously. It'll help the movers really get to dive into what they love to do. And they won't feel like they have to put on a pink, pink tights and a leotard every single week. Um, if so, there are a few extra add-on classes down here. 
that let's say our prodigy and premier kids want to do more acting classes we have a class for them on monday that just piggybacks right off their dance classes and it's only for our company uh, students and they can come and they can do that acting class and they can dive more into the fun acting class and there's also a hip, a hip hop class and these classes are offered at a discounted rate for company members so speaking of discounted rates, we're going to come down to fees and tuition. So um, what COPA has done with their fees and their tuition is that they've taken all the tuition that you'll pay for each month and all the fees, and they've divided it into 12 equal payments so that you know exactly what you're going to pay every single month. I know as a mom at other studios, you're paying and all of a sudden December comes and you get a $500 bill for your kid's costume and recital fee. And you're like, oh my goodness, Christmas is coming. I wasn't expecting that. But at COPA, everything is divided out. And um, we have had many meetings about how we're dividing your fees, what every single dollar is going towards so that we can really utilize what you're paying. Because we know that sending your child to these extracurricular activities can be a sacrifice on your time and your financial uh, well-being as a family. And so we want to make sure that you are getting the most out of COPA that you can. And so um, back up here, here are your, uh, here's your, your tuition, right? So I said Prodigy Premier Inspire is $235 a month. Boys is discounted because, you know, there's just not a lot of boys in musical theater, but we want more boys. Uh, we need them in the industry and at COPA. So Moxie, Smash, and Principal, there will be a difference in the MDT track and the MT track because our MDT track will dance for one extra hour a week. So the MDT tracks will be 235 for Moxie and Smash. The MT track will be 220. And then for Principal this year, we um, are actually going to have their choreography go to an hour and a half. We have found that, you know, Prodigy does a seven minute medley and principal does a 15 minute medley. And there's just not enough time to get that medley done in an hour and a half. And I took, or in an hour, and I took a poll of all my principal students this year and they all said, we think an hour and a half is needed. So it only goes up $5 for that extra, extra hour and a half, which I think will be so beneficial. So principal will be 240 a month for the MDT track and 225 for the MT track. And then when you come down to fees, um, these are the fees. So these are what you can plan on. There's a one-time registration fee of $39. Uh, your dance class wear, your COPA bag, your COPA t-shirt, those are just all extra that, you know, we can get you prices for. Um, Prodigy is $90 or Prodigy Premier Inspire is $90 a month. And this includes um, all your summer camps. So they'll do a... Uh, um, uh, MDT boot camp, which I'll talk about in a little bit, and then they'll do their company camp, and you won't have to pay for that. That's included in their fees. It includes all costume fees, fitting fees. Um, it'll choose your. It'll include your concert fee, which is the rental of our amazing. Um, all our companies will wear over the ear mics, so they'll all have body mics. Um, their lighting, their props. It's you know the performing opportunity at the Covey, which is incredible. It includes their fees for the solo showcases. So every single fee that you pay throughout the year is included and divided into 12 equal payments. And so you can kind of gauge how much, how much that will be. Um, with tuition and fees, we just want you to know that COPA is amazing. The owners are so giving and they do offer scholarship opportunities. So when you are past in the long email there's a thing where you can fill out if you need um, some financial help in a scholarship and they will interview and they you'll fill out some information because they want every child that loves musical theater to feel like they can come even if it is not financially possible for your family there's also some wonderful trade opportunities um, we have students that help clean the studio we have parents that help with costumes we have so many great ways that you can give your child the opportunities at COPA without, like, even if you can't afford it. And so 
If you're looking at those costs and you're thinking this isn't possible for us, reach out, look at the options that there are, because I mean, there's even working and teaching positions. There's costs. There's so many ways that you can help your child. And I know that's why I teach to give my children this amazing opportunity. And I can tell you that they have gotten so much more out of COPA than I have teaching. It's, it's amazing what it's done for my own personal children. So reach out if you feel like you might need that scholarship information. Um, let's see, we'll keep moving on to important dates. So we work really hard to give you all the dates beforehand because I know that all of you are busy. Your kids are talented, they're involved. And so you can put these dates on your calendars right now. Um, our musical theater boot camp, we offer two um, sessions in the summer and you only have to pick one which everyone works best for your, for your child. And it's new this year. Usually we do a musical theater dance camp. And, you know, we realize that sometimes these little third grader prodigy kids or students that don't love dance, don't love coming and dancing for 15 hours in one week. So we've revamped it a little bit and we're really excited about it. So now it's a musical theater boot camp and we'll have some dancing along with more acting, more vocal instruction, more workshops, more intensive type of things that will really be a more musical theater, well-rounded camp. And this is open to the public too, but it is discounted and included in your fees. And um, Katie and Mindy and I have been working on the curriculum and I'm really excited. I think the kids are going to love it. Um, and then in the end of July, beginning of August, we have our MDT company camp. And that is a really important camp for our MDT companies. We um, start our material for the fall. We do some team building things. We do a lot in that week. And it's really um, a fun week to get our company started. Uh, we'll kind of go through the rest. Our classes, it show, tells you when classes start, when the fall solo showcases. So that's what they will learn in their um, vocal tech and acting classes. In the fall, they will perform a solo just by themselves, their legit song. And that is held um, on a Friday or Saturday at our Draper Copa building. We have when our intensives are, and those intensive um, intensives that are mandatory, they're included in your fees. And that's to help us get ready for our concerts. We have our winter concert dates that's at the Covey. And so we have a few dates listed. The exact dates will be determined based on when you perform and we will get you those dates as soon as possible but just kind of block out the dates that are listed um and then on here it says students may need to miss school and i believe this year are in the spring our students don't have to miss school we've worked so hard they might have to get checked out a little bit of time but just the way that it works we rent the cubby for a week and it is an expensive amazing professional theater to rent and so we squeeze in everything that we can as with as little time as we can. And so we, some of your students might need to miss school in order to tech during the day and then they'll perform at night. But we try to rotate who performs on weekends and who comes later and earlier just to really accommodate your schedule. But it's only, you know, a day. And so it's, and it's a really amazing experience to perform at a professional theater with professional lights and professional sound and sets and lighting design. And it's amazing. So if you haven't been to our concert and you're new, we're performing next week. Dance concerts, May 6th and 7th. American Fork is 8th, 9th and 10th. And then Draper is the 11th and 13th. So come and see what these concerts are all about. That's how I found Copa. I had a friend post about it and she said, come to the concert. And I came to the concert and I went home and I quit my other teaching job and I reached out and I said, I want my kids to come here. It is just a really fun experience. And so really like look at those dates, block them out, come to us if there's a problem. Um, so moving on from important dates, we have our, our tours and all of our companies get to have a touring experience, which is kind of exciting. So our Smash company will tour to MTCA. That is in California. And Mindy, if you want to jump in on any of these tours, because you have been on 
the more than need. But uh, MTCA is a musical theater convention that takes place in California. I've been able to go the last two years and it is so much fun and such a great learning experience for these kids. Um, they do workshops with industry professionals. They each get the opportunity to compete either a song, monologue, or dance, but they don't just compete. They will do their song and then they will workshop with industry professionals for 15 minutes and they get the best, most positive, wonderful feedback from these judges. That is incredible. I can't even imagine like getting this when I was younger. I mean, then we'll also do a group number, which is really fun. We um, go to Knott's Berry Farm and have an award ceremony. We go to Disneyland. It is so much packed into this short amount of time that your kids will come home exhausted. And as directors, we come home looking like we've been hit by a train because it is so much in just a short amount of time. And it is, um, what I do love about COPA is all of their tours are educational and learning experiences. We're not just sending your kids to play at Disneyland. They are learning, they are growing, they are getting better at what you are paying for. Um, so our, that's, when, that's our smash tour. Our principal tour is to New York City and they will perform with a group called MCP. Uh, I got to go this year and it was amazing. They, and Mindy, maybe you should talk about this more. They perform in a professional production. With yeah, I'd be, I'd be happy to help out, Danielle. Um, I've been able to participate in this probably over the last like 10 years, but we took a few years off because of COVID. We, uh, somebody reached out to us years ago and invited us to participate and it's Manhattan uh, Concert Productions is what MCP stands for. And they rent the Lincoln Center, um, the David Geffen Hall. Um, a couple of years we've been at Carnegie Hall, both equally incredible and often used for Broadway productions or off-Broadway productions. They hire Broadway directors, Broadway producers, Broadway musical directors, Broadway stars, and they do a musical in concert. And so this next year's already been announced. It will be drumroll Anastasia, uh, which is a fantastic musical. I got to see it on Broadway. It was spectacular. The new music is, is beautiful. And oftentimes it's just kind of different every year, but like last year we did children of Eden. And if any of you parents speak musical theater, you may know that Stephen Schwartz wrote Children of Eden, and he redid some of the arrangements for this particular in concert version. And he was in the room with the kids, with us. Like during breaks, I went up and spoke with Stephen Schwartz, like pinch yourself crazy. He he is there contributing, talking to the kids. And then there's huge Broadway stars like last year and not just Broadway stars. Last year, they got the voice of Moana and she played one of the leads. And so they'll get film stars like Ben Platt. If you speak musical theater, he's performed before. In it, um, Leia Salonga, if you're an old musical theater fan like me, I saw her when I was 12 as um, in Miss Saigon. She's like my idol. She's been in it before. Laura Bonanti, uh, Laura Osnes is a huge Broadway queen. Tony Yazbek, and he actually directed last year. Jeremy Jordan, for those of you that love, um, was it Smash, the show that he was on, and Newsies. Um, just incredible performers, and we're in the room while they're rehearsing. So the students learn the music here in Utah to Anastasia this next year, and it's difficult. It's the full Broadway score, and we have to submit recordings and be approved, and then we show up and we rehearse in the room as ensemble members. And sometimes, like, if it's a Susan Stroman year, she'll bring feathers, and they're, like, you know, using feathers as the ensemble, or, like, this last year, they had some of the students holding like globes and lights. And so they participate in the storytelling aspect to some degree as well. And it is a remarkable experience. Like even for me, like after performing professionally for a lot of years, I sit in the room every year amazed and pinch myself. Like, can I really be in the room sitting this close to Jeremy Jordan and Lara Bonanti as they're coaching this and being directed by a Broadway director and Jason Robert Brown who wrote the musical Parade is 10 more feet away contributing. I mean, it's just crazy. So the kids get this amazing resume credit um, for an off-Broadway show at um, Lincoln Center and with Broadway stars. And it's, it is pretty hard to beat. Yeah. And I love, they did a question and answer with our students. 
and they gave the best advice on attending college, on how to practice, on how to develop yourself as a performer. And so it really is an incredible experience. Um, so they'll do that, they'll perform, they all will see um, Broadway shows, we have time to see sights. It's every musical theater person's dream to go to New York and to perform and to see shows. Um, so that's our principal tour. Our Prodigy premiere inspired tour experience is a, a singing competition. It's from with America on stage and it is held at Lagoon. It's on May 17th next year. And it's really fun. It's the same thing, industry professionals, They'll get up, they'll sing a song, they'll they'll get great feedback. And then um, through America on stage, they can get a discounted ticket to Lagoon and you can spend the day at Lagoon. We're all going in a few weeks. And last year was the first year we all participated and it was a very fun experience. We had lots of great feedback from parents and students and they just loved it. And then our Moxie company will tour to Tuacon. They will um, do workshops with the cast members from Tuacon, who are industry professionals brought in from New York and all over the country. They will um, perform in a pre-show before the Tuacon shows. They will see the Tuacon shows, they'll swim, they'll have fun. Um, I have had the opportunity to go on each of these tours as a director and they all are just a blast, but not just a blast, they are educational and learning. And so it really is, um, a, a good bang for your butt because your child is is getting wonderful instruction as well as having fun and building relationships with their peers. I so, totally agree, Danielle. Let me just interrupt really quickly to say, and you may have said this, so I'm sorry if it's redundant because I'm trying to help with the chat as well. Um, just that if it's cost prohibitive for you, we do offer fundraisers for the students. And if you're thinking that they're going to be auditioning for company and they'll know if they're cast soon, summertime's a great time to to babysit to mow lawns, to make cookies, to find, and, and we provide official fundraisers once we start back in the school year for next year. And some kids have earned their entire tour through little Caesars cards or Roxbury cards. And so if that's, you know, if that's something that you're interested in, it is something that we provide. Yeah, that's great, Mindy. And also tour payments are broken up as well. So we don't ask you to pay that total amount in one swoop. They're broken up into small, easier payments that are made monthly. And then, you know, by the time the tour comes, it's all paid for. So it's a really fun experience. Um, really quick, at the very bottom is the company dress code that just kind of talks about what um, we require our dancers to wear to their dance classes, as well as to their company choreography rehearsals. And um, you can kind of look at that and and decipher with your child what they might need. So we're gonna go to our next section, which is, I'm gonna stop sharing, okay, is selecting an academy. So COPA has some great academies and now um, they're all gonna be considered COPA performing companies, right, Mindy? And they're gonna be different tracks. And so if you're listening to this and thinking, oh, well, my child would really be better here or here. Look at our website. We have a lot of other parent meetings coming up. We have the MDT track. Now we have the musical theater track. We have a pop track, which is really fun. They do pop music. They um, do choreography. They do song. I think there's a songwriting class. Um, there is a dance track. And there is also an acting track. So if you want something else or you want something more, you can be dual enrolled in multiple academies and they will work together um, to give you the best schedule for your child. And I saw this question on the last one, we're a little bit off it, but I will just address it really quickly. Monday classes for MDT will be held with our dance company students. However, those will not be performing classes. So your children will not be required to attend the dance company concert, nor will they be competing with dance company. And just in case you're not going to the dance company meeting and you want to, dance company is not requiring competitions next year. So if that's been holding you back from dance, 
don't let it hold you back anymore. It's going to be an add-on experience. And I have two daughters that are in both programs and I have seen a huge growth in their development being in the dance program and the program. So it's definitely something that you can look into. Um, your, your classes are uh, discounted and credited for the classes that you take. So you can look at our website and get more information about the different tracks that COPA off, um, offers and find one that works for you because every track is is truly incredible. And um, the owners have put so much time and effort into developing their curriculum and uh, what they what they do. Um, I was just gonna say, uh, Danielle, if I can, if you're debating what your child is interested, have them audition for all of them and see how the cookie crumbles and what excites them the most and what not all companies will be able to be dual enrolled. I, I can't speak to Draper. You might be able to speak better if they can do acting and musical theater still. Maybe that is a possibility. Um, but it doesn't hurt to audition. Auditioning, honestly, is a great experience. It can be considered a free workshop. So have them audition for dance, audition for musical theater, audition for pop, audition for acting, and then see, unless they're not interested in it, and then don't. But um, that way you can kind of see and decide after. Basically, auditioning is not a commitment. You'll get a you'll get an offer and a contract, and you can take it or leave it. And so it doesn't hurt to kind of try it all. Yeah, that's great, Mindy. And our auditions are on May 15th, but it is a workshop experience. So if you're a class parent on here and you're like, we're not quite ready to make this commitment yet, that is their last week of class. We've been talking about auditions. And so they can just come and participate in the audition without having to participate in company. And it really is an amazing learning experience. So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, our audition information. And okay, I'm going to share my screen again. Let's about so how we run our auditions. Um, I might be on the same. Way. I'm going to have to hold on. I've learned not just how to be, you know, I came as a a choreographer and a teacher, and now I know how to make Google Sheets and I know how to share my Zoom screen, but I didn't. <laughs> Share the right. You're doing awesome, Danielle. You've got this. Yes. Um, okay, we're gonna come back to here. So when you come back to our home base website, you can click on auditions, and then you will scroll down to Draper, and in probably just a few, maybe tomorrow or the next day, this parent link will change to a recording of this meeting. So if you know people that weren't able to come, you want to go back and rewatch something and, and get it, you missed some parts, you can click right here and it will be the information that you need from this video. You can click on it. Okay, so right here is the audition form. Even if your child is just coming as a workshop experience, fill out this audition form and it just gives their information and there's even a part to click that I'm auditioning for a workshop experience. Uh, it'll give us all the information, but it will help us plan how many students will be attending. So our auditions are on May 15th at our Draper building. Um, here's the phone number listed if you have any questions. Our third through sixth graders will check in from four, or from four to 4.30. And if you fill out that link before, your check-in process will be way faster. So you should do that. It's really helpful. They'll do the dance audition from 4.30 to 5.30. So they will learn a short dance combination that's a musical theater style. And we're just looking for how they move, how they perform, how they pick up choreography. So that'll be the first hour. They can wear um, dance clothes, clothes that they can move in. Um, bring They can bring their dance shoes if they would like. And then from five to seven, they'll have their vocal audition. And what we ask is you can kind of scroll down here and it will give you all the information that I'm talking about. Um, they need to bring a 30 to 45 second cut of a musical theater Disney pop song. It can be on a track or it can be in sheet music and the sheet music would be about a 16 bar cut if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just get a track off of YouTube and do 30 seconds. It's not something to stress out about. It can be a song they know. It doesn't need to be scary. We've had kids come in and sing, Mindy was talking about this, You Are My Sunshine. 
This is an experience to help them feel positive about themselves, right? So when they go audition for their community theater or their school or health theater, they know what to do and it's not as scary. So have them bring that. And then from five to seven, they'll do their vocal audition with our um, vocal instructors. And then after they sing, they're free to go. And parents, you are welcome. We have a big holding room with chairs. You can stay, you can leave and our, your child can text you when they're done. And it is a positive workshop experience. It's not scary. It's really fun and um, a great time to practice your audition. Our seventh through 12th graders will come and they'll check in from five to 5.30. They'll do the dance audition from 5.30 to seven. It'll be the same thing. They'll learn a musical theater combination. They'll break up into small groups and they'll uh, perform it. And we will watch for those same things. And then if your student is a definite, I want to do the MT program, they will be dismissed at seven o'clock and they'll go do the vocal audition. If your student wants to do MDT or if they're even just thinking about it, they'll stay from seven to eight and we'll just do a short technique audition, um, a few combinations across the floor. It might be great if they have ballet shoes or jazz shoes or tap shoes, they can bring those just so that we can make sure we get your student in the correct class. Because if, you know, maybe they're a great performer and so we judge them high on their dance and we put them in our top level and they've never done a technique class, that's not beneficial for them because they're not getting the foundation that they need. So we want to see where their technique is so we can put them exactly where they need to be. So that will be the MDT technique audition from seven to eight. And then they will go into the vocal audition. And the same as before, once they sing, they are free to go and they can bring a track or um, sheet music. Uh, after the audition process, we get together with directors and our companies are mostly broken down by age with a little bit of flexibility. So it's not, I was really great. I moved up a company. It's what age are you? Especially with that Moxie smash principle, we, we don't wanna take too young of kids on tour and expect too much from those younger kids. So it's not that somebody was better than your child. It's that they're in eighth grade and your child's in fifth grade. We really think it's beneficial to keep them with their peers and to their same age level in company and then divide them in levels other ways so that they can become friends, right? Like it's the best when all of these kids can uh, be together and be friends. We will announce casting on May 24th and we'll send out an email that says your student was cast in this. And there's a lot of information in that email, questions that you need to answer, things that you need to fill out, um, information that you can go over before you sign your contract. Because like I said before, it's a 12 month contract. And if you know you have a student that's kind of like a butterfly that likes to try soccer and then likes to try dance and then likes to try this, a year commitment is a serious thing. So you wanna talk to them and make sure this is right. And if it's not, try one of our classes. We're offering a new junior high only class next year that like there won't be the little kids in and it's just for those middle schoolers. But we would love to have them in company. It's it's such a great experience. So you'll receive that email. Um, you'll accept if you, you'll click if you accept and you'll fill out all the information and then we will register your student and we will get everything taken care of that you that you need to know. Um, really quickly, are there any questions that haven't been asked on the chat about auditions? Okay, great. So um, if you have questions, you can email info at Utah Copa and they will be great at getting back to you. So really quickly, we just have 10 minutes left. I'm gonna turn the time over to Mindy for just a few minutes and she's gonna talk about the Alta School Credit that your student can get from COPA. And it's incredible. And I finally have a child old enough to do it and I'm really excited about it. Hey, thanks, Danielle. Okay, so years ago, we ended up kind of uh, through a conversation Katie Higby had, finding an opportunity for our students to receive accredited high school credit 
that will be transferred to any public school in the state of Utah through a private uh, online school called Alta Independent. So we'll go into more details about how to do it in the post-parent meeting if you're interested. But the bottom line is, and I've used this where Danielle's saying that she finally has a child old enough to take advantage of it. I have a child graduating this year. And what we've done as a family, because she's been in COPA, sometimes dance companies, sometimes acting companies, sometimes MDT companies, sometimes um, multiple, um, that she's been getting fine art credit and exercise through dance, et cetera through, um, I put it on do not disturb and it doesn't listen to me. It's like my teenager, sorry about that. But anyway, she's been getting a lot of those types of things in the after school experience with COPA. So what we chose to do is have her take kind of more difficult classes in high school, like AP calculus and you know AP language arts and then have what are called release periods. And so, that means that she doesn't go to school first period or last period um, or however you want to structure it. You could do an A day and not do a B day, or you can do early, you know, not ever have a first period or not ever have a last. And that has given her more time to come home from school and work on those difficult classes and then go to COPA. And so COPA credits, um, what, what it looks like is basically like the COPA director will give the grade. And if they've been attending and they write like a two page essay on what they learned in that class um, at the end of the year, then they can get, if they've been attending well um, and participating in A in that class. And it can cover fine art credit, all fine art credit, all elective credit. And the state of Utah requires 1.5 PE credits and COPA can be supplemented for one of those credits. So you still have to take a 0.5, like in Alpine School District, it's something like Fitness for Life. I'm not sure in the districts north of the point what that class is called. But anyway, it can so it can be substituted for something like 11 credit hours. And so we've done that and really benefited. It's not something that um, COPA makes money on. The partnership is an, a financial benefit for us. In fact, they give a discount for credits to COPA students and you just pay them directly. Um, if that's something that you want to kind of free up your child's time or have them home more, nap time, sleep in in the morning because they're out late. It's been a really, or, you know, like I said, invest in harder classes. It's been a really great thing in our family's life. Um, just an FYI, for seventh grade and eighth grade, it's not required um, to have those credits. And so if you want to, with your school, you can just fill out like a homeschool exemption form. And then because of the state of Utah and homeschool laws, there's no, like you can take your child out of um, fine art classes, elective classes, um, and then you just supplement with the COPA classes after school. So there's no payment in seventh and eighth grade if you want to kind of simplify their schedule in life. But, you know, some kids, I have nieces and nephews that have done the program and they thrive being in school all day and then coming to COPA. That's great. Like if that's what your kid loves, do that. But if your kid needs a little more time or you want to invest in more difficult classes, that's a uh, Alta Independent is a great alternative. Okay, go ahead, Daniel. Thanks, Mindy. That's great. Um, okay, so after auditions and casting, we will have a post-parent meeting, and that will be on May 29th at 6.30. There'll be a Zoom link on the website, and it will just go over in more detail exactly what our companies entail. This is kind of just to give you the information before you audition. Um, and like I said before, you can email info at Utah COPA with any questions that you have. We have a few minutes for question and answer. If you have any questions, you can unmute yourself, you can turn on your video, and we can try to answer those for you. And then we will wrap this up. Okay, I'm going to help answer a question that was in the chat that I think is applicable for everybody. And it looks like Danielle did a great job um, answering as well. But somebody asked, like, what is the difference if you've had a kid in classes versus company? And the company experience is a heightened experience. So where classes are meant to be kind of recreational and there's not a contract, you can kind of dabble. Is this what your kid loves? Because maybe your kid loves soccer or baking or swimming 
or, you know, you're just kind of trying to figure it out. But once you figure out like, yes, my kid is a music theater kid. And let's be honest, we're a different breed of human beings. Like we can spot each other too. Like if you're a music theater parent, you know, like you're walking down the grocery store, or you see a kid, you're like, that's a musical theater kid. We just, it's like, we connect. Um, if you know that's what they love, company is a heightened experience to provide more training. So it's more hours. And then when they perform, the performances are heightened. So they'll perform with over the ear mics instead of handheld mics, and they'll perform with projections and maybe some more props on stage. The costumes will be heightened. The medleys will be cleaner. The commitment of the company members is higher because they've signed a contract and they're coming more often. And so it's just a, a, a heightened experience, if that makes sense. So, okay, let's take it away with any other questions that you guys might have. I'll kind of ask one more. Do like do most kids that are interested and excited get in? Is it pretty competitive for yeah, I you know it might vary on like age and how many people try out, but you know, in that elementary school rate in the third to sixth grade, is it half get in, 90% get in, and you find the right company? That's a really good question, Ryan. I can help and then Danielle and Jocelyn, please contribute if I miss something. Every year is a little bit different. Um, it really depends on like who shows up to audition. For example, one year in uh, one of our locations, we had an entire sixth grade company. So every year is kind of a little bit different about what ages and how many people. We don't have a percentage of who makes it. And there are some like who we don't feel like company would be quite the right fit yet. And if that's the case, we will email or call you depending on the situation and say, hey, this is what we think your kid needs. This is why we don't think it's quite the right fit. We don't want to ever place a kid in any circumstance where it's not going to build their confidence. Now that is more rare. So when we're saying like what percentage, I would say the majority we can usually accommodate in a company. Um, but there are occasions where we feel like maybe a little more training in classes might be beneficial or sometimes even some private training might be recommended. Um, but that is the exception to the rule um, in general. Would you guys agree, Jocelyn and Danielle? Yes, absolutely. I feel like um, COPA tries to do a really good job at placing your child where they will be successful. And some kids, you can see at auditions that they're not quite ready to handle six hours a week. And if you push them too fast, then they might lose the fire. And so we try really hard to find where they will be successful. And if that's in a class or a lot of times in a company, um, we want them to, to love it. And to love it, they, they need to wanna come. So I would say, yes, the majority, we always find a spot for. And it's sometimes we've recommended kids to the pop program or to classes. It's very rare that we just say, Absolutely. No. <laughs> yeah. And I, what I was going to say, too, is we have a lot of different tracks. So maybe we might see something in your child that you haven't been as much aware of, where it's like, hey, musical theater might not be the best fit, but maybe contempt like pop music would, or maybe the acting program might be a good fit, or maybe they just killed it in dance, but their ear needs some training. So we might say, you know, having watched your child in the audition, we don't have a spot in this particular company, but we would recommend this particular experience. And if your kid's passion really is this, then this is what we'd recommend to get there. But again, that is like the a very small percentage of what happens most of the time. Honestly, like, especially when they come younger, it's like when they're in fourth, fifth, sixth grade, I think Danielle said this earlier, they're like sponges. So getting them involved and honestly catching them when they're less inhibited is a great time and we can usually accommodate and work with all, uh, all sorts of different ability levels and interests. It's when they get a little bit older that things become a little more clear as to what their comfort levels are, what their abilities, their natural abilities are, what their interest levels are, and we can help kind of um, guide and direct if what they're auditioning for doesn't seem like a perfect fit. Thank you, that's super helpful. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad you've been asking questions. You guys feel free to ask questions. And if we don't, um, in fact, our meeting's supposed to, well, we've got a little bit of time. Was it until 7.30? It's until 7.30. We have a little window, but 
Yeah, we have probably a few minutes if you want to still ask questions. But if you have, if you run into questions, feel free to like, please email us at info at Utah Copa. Um, and we will get to them as soon as possible. Just keep in mind, it's our we're headed into concert weeks here coming quickly. And so we may be a little slower on the draw than normal, but we are happy. We want you to ask the questions. We want you to be informed. There's not ever a stupid question. So please keep them coming. Send us emails if we didn't address it. But, you know, take a couple more minutes if you need it. Um, and then we can close the meeting. It sounds like we're good, Danielle and we're Jocelyn. Good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we just want to thank you all for coming and um, just tell you that we take very seriously what we do at COPA, how we train your children. And um, we're not just training them to be good performers. And I loved Katie said this in the last meeting. We're training them to be good human beings. And we're we're wanting to develop their confidence in themselves and their public speaking. And it's so great for kids who maybe aren't athletes or, you know, cheerleaders, or maybe they are, but it's great to come to a safe space and to feel like you can be who you are and to develop your talents and your confidence. And I just love the program that the owners have created. It doesn't just teach choreography. It has an incredible curriculum that goes into depth about your voice and your dance technique and acting skills. And it, it does give your child school credit because they are learning so much and that is why they are credited. So we're thankful that you're all here. We hope to see your kids at auditions and, um, Thanks to our other directors are here. They are the best and your kids will be in great hands. And so we will sign off and hope to see you all soon. Yes. Thank you for coming. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Danielle. Thanks, Jocelyn. Thanks, Melanie. Thanks.